My name is Veronica DeSalvo. I'm a sales engineering specialist at UiPath, and I'll be playing the role of an IT director of a large enterprise. And I'm Nupur Anani. I'm a product manager at UiPath, and I'll be playing the role of an incident management lead. Today, we're very excited because our company recently made the investment in powerful UiPath continuous discovery tools to help us identify the most impactful actions we can take to reduce time spent on resolving incidents. My first step is to explore a UiPath process mining app with our ServiceNow incident management data. I'm looking for quick wins, and since I know the time to value of automations is very fast, I'm going to hop over to the automation potential dashboard. Here, I can see the current automation rate for each activity, along with the total manual processing time, processing cost, and equivalent FTEs. This is incredible. I've never had this level of process information before. Instead, relying on stakeholder interviews and workshops to get an idea of how many times each process step was executed and a rough estimate of time spent, now I have real data from the system to quantify exactly how much time and money each process step is costing me. It looks like the resolved activity takes up the most of my team's time at over six FTEs. I had no idea that ticket resolution was taking up quite that much time. Let's simulate this activity and see what the automation potential is. Wow, this activity could be 78% automated, which would free up over five FTEs worth of time. That's huge. We're already struggling with attrition because our team is overworked. Plus next year we're anticipating 20% more demand without any plan to increase headcount. I wanna act on this now, but I need to know exactly how the work is performed to be able to automate it. Let's ask someone who can help. Hi, this is Nooper again, the incident management lead. And I oversee our team that owns all incident tickets and cases. Last week, I got an email from my IT director, Veronica, indicating that we can investigate an automation opportunity for incident resolution. I've already created an assisted task mining project since we have a specific task we are looking to go ahead and record. I've added my team members that capture various different variations or traces of completing the task at hand as they go into ServiceNow and navigate through each incident. But I also work on this project, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a trace myself to start recording. I've downloaded and installed the assisted task mining recorder. At this point, before I click start, I'm gonna make sure that I have my environment set up and I'm ready to capture exactly what I wanna record. Since I'm ready, I'm gonna go ahead and click start. And my recorder is going to capture every action, click, type, and input on my screen while taking screenshots. Now that my recorder is ready to go ahead and capture my actions, I'm going to log in to ServiceNow and go and find my incident queue. This is what I do every day when I'm looking for open incidents that need to be resolved or closed. As you can see, the action counter is increasing as I take every click and type input and record it and capture it accordingly. I'll go ahead and find a high priority incident and provide some resolution information or work notes to go ahead and resolve and move forward with the incident. Once resolved, I'm going to go ahead and click end since we're only capturing a specific instance of this task. We can see here that I also have had my other team members, Chandler, Ross, Monica, and Phoebe upload their traces. In order to truly get a comprehensive picture, as we can see that each person does this differently and has different images as well as actions, we're gonna go ahead and actually merge these together. I can either leverage guided merge or auto merge. In this instance, I'm gonna use auto merge as it leverages AI to find those similarities and differences for me. Now that we have an auto merge trace, we can see pretty clearly that during the incident resolution process, there are different kinds of resolution reasons or different reasons why somebody might close a ticket versus resolve it. We can see all of these images as well as the decision points with PII masking turned on by default. This has provided me with a comprehensive picture of the tasks that my team is completing in a much easier and faster way than having to go through and sit down with everybody and review each one individually. This will really accelerate our automation journey as I can then export this to a PDD or a XAML file and integrate it with Automation Hub to directly get this information to a COE developer who may not have had this context before. Because we used process mining to discover the automation idea and quantify savings, then leverage task mining to capture the granular steps, our automation COE now has everything they need to bring this idea to life. Accelerate automation discovery and actionability in your own organization by getting started with UiPath Continuous Discovery today.